Are you a miserable housewife between the years 1910 and 1970s who has stubborn, defiant children who won't listen, and a husband that comes home from his nine to five and does nothing but scold and scream at you, and you'd like to take your frustrations out on them through your cooking? Well, I've got just the horrendous recipes for you. They'll have your children running to their rooms out of sight and have your husband sitting on the toilet all through the night so you can kick your feet up and enjoy the peace and quiet and pills and wine that you deserve. So come along and join your Auntie Chris in recipes that should either stay in the past or make a comeback fast. Here we go. Recipes that should stay in the past or make a comeback fast. So we are going to be trying vintage recipes from the 1910s to the 1970s, all of which look terrible, but I kind of want to try them out. I don't think I can keep up the mid-Atlantic accent for the entire time, but I'll sprinkle it through. But I'm excited. I looked up a bunch of vintage recipes and we're going to get started. I also got done up for you today. I'm a 50s trad housewife. I feel adorable, to be honest. And uh, I forgot to tell you that your hair looks especially soft today. Unlike mine, one of my children could throw a football at my head and I would not feel it. So that's by design. First up, we are trying 7-Up Milk. It is about as straightforward as it sounds. It's basically just 7-Up and milk and it sounds gross and I'm lactose intolerant. So I'll probably throw up and shit my pants at the same time. Well, not my pants, my dress. Let's get to it. We have the 7-Up, which I have not drinking since I was a child, and milk, also something I have not drinking since I was a child. But this is really for children. They say it's a little trick that makes a treat. I guess the message is to trick your children into drinking cow's milk. What? Either way, we need a glass. So the recipe says mix chilled, 7-Up, got it, and cold milk, got it, equal parts. <laughs> My husband's gonna divorce me for that. <laughs> Just kidding. By pouring the 7-Up gently into the milk. Do not stir, it says. Do not stir. The 7-Up adds a little flavor, making a delicious blended food drink. I'm turning British now. I'm gonna be all over the place with my accents. We already know that. We're gonna open our milk carton. Let's pour in the milk first. Oh, that's thick. I got 2%. Because why not? I'm not gonna do a lot because I don't want to waste. Because I can guarantee I'm not going to be drinking all of this. 7-Up. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, that's delightful. I forgot how good that was. Okay, let's pull this in. Equal parts. I'm gonna come down here and see. My stupid children would probably fall for this. I'd probably fall for it. Um, but the only thing is, is that it's bubbly on the top, which is kind of gross. Cheers to not having to have a job and not being able to vote yet. What a time to be alive. <laughs> That's disgusting. Yeah, this uh, this is concerning. It's fizzy on top. I don't think it would really trick anybody. Um, it tastes exactly what it sounds like. Seven up in milk. If you hate your children or yourself. I'm just kidding, don't do that. Next up, we've got potato fudge. The ingredient list is one medium potato, three squares unsweetened chocolate, three tablespoons butter, one eighth teaspoon salt, one teaspoon vanilla, three cups powdered sugar. I'm actually very excited about this because I enjoy fudge a lot. Potatoes, I also enjoy. So how could this go wrong? I have one medium potato. I think a fistful of potato. Um, I don't have a peeler because it wasn't appealing to me at the time I'm a woman. I can't be funny. It's fine, but I do have a knife. Let's peel with a knife. Oh Did I not um, forgot to press record? I forgot to press record on the other camera NBC television Sorry, halfway through peeling, at least I recognize it. And it also doesn't say to cut the potato up when you boil it, but I feel like it, it would boil a lot faster if you cut it up. Am I stupid or does that make sense? Cause I think I'm just mashing it anyway. Add mash, but yeah, that shit. I'm skipping some steps. I'm cutting this bitch up. Sorry, I'm cutting this potato up to make it easier for it to boil quicker because I'm impatient. Now to put the peels in the compost. I need a cutting board. That is filthy. I'm not eating it, just kidding as I am. We're just gonna cut this into quarters, even though nobody said to. Perfect, let's put it in the pot. Uh, I guess we need water. Put on the heat. Put it on high, I don't give a shit. Wash, peel, rinse potato, then boil it until it becomes soft enough to mash. <laughs> we wait. I'll come back when the potatoes are ready to mash. Nature's most nearly perfect food is milk. And there you have it, boil the potatoes. That took a lot longer than I thought. Grab a fork and just plow the potatoes. Okay. I feel like there's a better way to do this, but this is the way we're doing it today. This is a 50s modern day workout. All right. 
Smashing my potatoes Cause I'm a working woman with a family I definitely don't just live with my dog in the middle of Canada Where my boyfriend isn't and I don't have a kids Sad I feel as though those are well mashed potatoes. Next, we have to put chocolate and butter into pot and heat on low until melted. Got it. Do I only have one pot? Maybe. <laughs> I have to keep washing it? Maybe. So we have Baker's chocolate. I didn't even know this existed, to be honest. And it says three squares. I feel like that's not a lot. I wonder if this is any good. It's unsweetened though. Oh, it looks gray. Why is it gray? Oh, it smells divine though. I'm gonna do four because I really like chocolate. Quite lovely. All right. It's on to low. Sauce the chocolate. Wait, I'm gonna break that up. Oh. And then, oh, butter. I put it in too fast. Three tablespoons of butter. Tablespoon. I'm just gonna do this. Good enough. Ah, it's melting. Shit. Oh God. Doesn't have to be exact, right? Because baking doesn't need to be exact. Just kidding, it does. Not in my house though. We just eyeball everything. I need a spoon. Just a regular spoon. Ooh, it's melting quite quickly. Oh, butter and chocolate. Nothing better than butter and chocolate. Oh yeah, work. I can't multitask. What did 50s housewives with ADHD do? Probably just stay single or go to an asylum or something. Oh, this looks so good. I'm so excited. Anything with chocolate just makes me so excited. I'm so excited. I feel like there's a lot of potatoes though in comparison to chocolate, but do I know? So when that's done, add mashed potatoes to mix and salt and vanilla. Add powdered sugar, little at a time, put in fridge to cool. Okay, you have to add mashed potatoes to the mix. Do I add it to the pot? <laughs> Burning. Shit, oh, no, 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 don't burn. It smells good. Oh God. Oh, it's how I'd be in a mother. I feel like I should add this into the potatoes now. I feel like I shouldn't add it into the pot. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this into the potatoes. Add mashed potatoes to mix and salt and vanilla. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this in the bowl. Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, oh please fix my marriage. All right, well, good enough. Let's mix this. Being a wife and a mom is a full-time job. It really is though. I watched my sister with George, her little newborn. God damn it, she can't do anything. She literally Literally cannot function. She has no life, but I mean, he's pretty great. Shout out to moms or any dads as well. You know, shout out to parents. Y'all are real ones. Y'all are out there doing God's work. This looks, doesn't look terrible, I guess. Okay, now I'm going to add the salt, one eighth of a tablespoon. I don't know how much that is. One fourth. So it'd be half of this. God damn it, that's like nothing. I don't know. I feel like that's not gonna do anything. And then vanilla, one teaspoon. Whoa, half a teaspoon. So we'll do, oh, whoops. I really like vanilla though, so. Oops. <laughs> okay, let's mix that in. Delicious. It smells really good. That's good, right? Ooh, this is nice. I gotta like mash it a little bit more. I'm excited about this one. I feel like it's like a healthier fudge. Not that fudge should be healthy, but fudge fudge. This is looking promising. And I think that's it, isn't it? Mm, no, powdered sugar. God damn, of course we need sugar. Icing sugar. So we need three cups. That seems like a lot, but that makes sense because this probably tastes like shit right now. Interesting. All right, get your powdered sugar and sniff it. Don't snort it. Okay, cup. Oh my God, this is gonna be nuts. I, my bowl's not big enough. Should I transfer? <laughs> big bowl. Ikea, not sponsored. Hell yeah. We have transferred bowls. Now we're adding the powdered sugar. Oh my, is this gonna be enough? I don't even know this bag is three bags. I'm just gonna add one cup at a time and then mix it. Oh. Nice. Ooh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I don't even understand what texture this is gonna be. Oh, it's melting in. Ooh, it's getting like, how did that get so liquidy? It's like liquid now. That's cool. God, baking's like science. Again, do it with your kids if you like them, you know? Okay, let's add another one, I guess. Hell yeah. I'm so excited for this fudge. It really is an arm workout. One more. What's this taste like? Oh, oh it's tasting really good. I just would never think to put potato and chocolate together. This might be a winner, especially because we got uh, ham banana hollandaise coming up. All right. Wow, that looks like a way different color now. Test it. Kind of looks gross.
Oh my god, if I didn't already have a husband, I would get a husband with that. Ugh! Put it in the fridge to cool. I have a, uh, a little brownie tray thing, so I'm gonna put it in that. And just make little squares. Woohoo! Little fudge, baby. Just like a thin layer. Perfecto! And you know I'm gonna put it in the freezer because I'm impatient as f Okay, and we'll try it now. Nothing does it like seven up, seven up. Nothing does it like seven up. It is several hours later now, and it's dark outside, and the lighting is weird, but uh, let's try our brownies. Or fudge, whatever. Not even sure if this is super set. Oh, look at that. Wow, you can see the, the, the chunks of potato. I, yeah, I didn't mash it well enough, I don't think. It smells good though. Let's cut it up. I have this little mechanism. I got this on Amazon in one of my Amazon videos. I don't remember which one. You just press it down. Oh, that worked quite nice. Look at that. And then you just lift it up, I guess. Oh, it's not set. It's not set yet, but look at that. It cut it all up. They're a little squishy, but I'm not gonna wait anymore because what is the theme of this? I'm impatient. I'm just gonna fork one of them. A little taste tester. There you go. Look at that fudge. All right, here we go. Woo! That is sweet. That tastes like fudge. This needs to sit a little longer, but I really like that. I needed to mash the potatoes a little bit more, but other than that, I would try this. It's kind of fun. That's neat. I'll give that like an 8.5 out of 10. That's good. Okay, I'll see you potato fudge recipe. Next. All right, next up is ham banana hollandaise. And it looks just as gross as it sounds. Essentially, it's bananas wrapped in ham with hollandaise sauce on top. But here are the ingredients. Six medium bananas, one fourth cup lemon juice, six thin slices boiled ham, two envelopes hollandaise sauce, and one fourth cup of light cream. Let's get started. Interrupting this program to tell you to subscribe to the Patreon. Timmy and Mary subscribed to the Patreon and they got to see extra videos and extra clips that were never before seen. So if you want to be like Mary and Timmy, subscribe to the Patreon or else goodbye now i got a shitload of bananas but i don't really want to waste a bunch of bananas so we're gonna use three and cut the recipe in half so we'll peel the bananas i love bananas i really want to take a bite of this but i won't place it on the tray i already preheated the oven to 400 degrees yes we're putting this in the oven it says peel bananas sprinkle each with one and a half tablespoons lemon juice to prevent darkening i don't know how that works but science all right bananas are peeled that i can do lemon juice Lemon juice. Should I take a shot of it? Ah! All right, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm pouring lemon juice on these things. What do I do? I'm just gonna pour lemon juice on them. Uh, just like a little bit. Lemon, lemon, lemon. That's super unprofessional, but that's fine. I'm just gonna... I kinda wanna do this out of frame. You're just coating, you're just coating the banana. Don't be gross about it, it's a baking video. Calm down, all right, we need to coat this thing. Coating the bananas. There we go, that's way more than half a tablespoon. Okay, the bananas are coated and my hands are as well. I need to rinse. And now, wrap each banana in a slice of ham, arrange in single layer casserole, bake for 10 minutes. All right, ham, I an aggressive fridge. I don't like ham. This is sliced cooked ham. It says boiled ham. I think that's what that means. I don't really know. It sounds gross either way. Grab a knife. Just kidding. Wow, what the? Why are these knives so dull? Each banana in a slice of ham. 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 It does smell good. These are weird slices of ham. Slap it on the banana and just, just like so. Uh, what? Who? Is, this is gonna be disgusting. I'm not, who made this recipe? A sad, sad housewife, that's who made it. Who hates her husband. <laughs> hey darling, I know you've had a long day's work at your nine to five, but I've made my own banana ham hollandaise casserole. <laughs> I'm sure you'll love it. And then he just says, I hate you. I wanna do this like in a pretty way, but I feel like there's no way to make this pretty. <laughs> So ugly. I love how one banana is so much significantly bigger than the other ones. It's so much like taller. There we go, ham wrapped. That's. You know, something. All right, it's wrapped. Now what? And arrange in single layer, bake for 10 minutes, okay? I'm gonna put it in the oven. Cook time, 10, start, there we go. And now we wait. This is a story about what to do on a date. It begins one early summer afternoon. Bananas are ready! The bananas are ready! Everybody shut the f up! Where did I put my things? Oh my God. Wow, that really did work. Look at that. It didn't make the bananas brown because of the lemon sauce. That's really fun. Like, shut the f up! Anyway, uh, next we have to 
Oh, we had to make the sauce, which I already made because I didn't want to waste your time. The sauce, the sauce. I made hollandaise sauce. I just used a regular hollandaise sauce recipe because I could not find the packets. So I just used butter, eggs, lemon juice, cayenne pepper, mustard. I think that's it. Maybe a little salt. Did I already say that? I don't know. Either way, hollandaise. And I think we just put it on top. Pour over bananas and bake for five more minutes. All right, well. Oh God, it looks so gross, dude. Uh, oh, it's just spreading everywhere. Delicious, five minutes. Now we wait. Gravy with potatoes and carrots. So delicious, so low in price. Austex beef stew to keep your men going strong. Shut the f up. Shut up. Oh wait, those look, oh God, oh God. It smells pretty good. Shut up. Um, it doesn't smell bad. Looks pretty rough. I'm gonna put this on a plate. We're gonna make this try to look professional. Okay. We're just going to try to gather the bananas up. All right, ah, there we go. <laughs> it looks so gross. I'm just gonna try to grab some of the hollandaise and just sprinkle it on top. That looks disgusting. Perfect. Delicious. Banana ham hollandaise. I'm terrified to try this. I have to eat this. I don't like hollandaise sauce. I don't like ham, but I love bananas. So Jesus, take the wheel. I'm doing this for you. You better like this video. Ew. Oh God. Oh, I'm going to throw up. Who made this? Who hates the family? It just tastes like morning breakfast. I hate it a little too soon. It just tastes like you just kind of like put bacon and your eggs and hollandaise sauce together and then you accidentally got a little banana in it or whatever if you have banana on your plate. It's not terrible. I'm gonna give it a, a generous 3.5 out of 10. Ham, banana, hollandaise, you surprised me. I will not be taking another bite, but you're all right. Next. All right, last but not least, but probably least, is bologna cake. And it also looks as gross as it sounds. The recipe calls for two packs cream cheese, one pack Hidden Valley Ranch, 12 ounces bologna, bologna, one can cheese, cilantro olives, which I hate more than anything, so I have cucumbers, and one package of Ritz crackers. So let's get started. Is it your child's birthday party and they piss you off constantly? Why not make them bologna cake? First off, starting with bologna. I like saying bologna. Bologna. I used to eat this all the time as a kid because we did not have any money, so bologna was the way to go. And I actually really loved it. I haven't had bologna in quite a few years, but I just remember loving it. So the first thing we've got to do is mix ranch dressing into cream cheese and set aside. I have this fun little bowl, Hidden Valley Ranch. Very important, it has to be Hidden Valley for some reason. I don't remember the last time I had a ranch either. Ooh, it smells delicious. And cream cheese. I've already had a little bit. I like to eat cream cheese on Ritz crackers. It's delicious. Two packs cream cheese. What the f does that mean? I feel like we need a lot of, I'm just gonna use this whole thing because I have another one. <laughs> so what do I care? It says one pack of ranch. What does that mean? I'm just gonna keep going until the consistency is nice, I guess. Cause like, you can't really screw up ranch and cream cheese. That, that, that sounds good. Like this cake sounds like something I would dig into as a kid. Well, not really, but like, you know, like to put on a cracker or something. I don't know. That sound without context is terrible. I told my mom I was making this specific recipe and she's like, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I was like, I know. Like, I think this is supposed to be something you'd like put out at a party, you know? And for people to just like grab a little slice of. Okay, that consistency's looking good. Yeah. Hell yeah. What? Next up, place bologna on plate and spread cream cheese. This is thick bologna. <laughs> Holy shit, look at that. Look at that piece of meat. Oh, it smells like my childhood. Oh, butter and bologna sandwiches. I'm gonna place this strategically. I wanna make this pretty, okay? I want this to be nice. Let's spread, all right? Spreading cream cheese. Yeah, I guess you just gotta make like just a bunch of layers here. That's so fun. It's like a savory little cake. That's fun. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is like really, this is fun. I want you to be able to like see it when we cut into it, so. Do you want me to make a layered cake? Maybe with like, without a recipe or something? Let me know in the comments below. But next time I'll dress up like Spider-Man or something. <laughs> We have made the bologna cake. Look at those layers, whoa. Check that out. She's thick. But now I have to ice the outside as well, like a cake. Just gonna slap it on. Oh my God. 
gosh, the cheesy goodness. It looks so cute. Oh, it's so deceiving though. It looks like, like a really cute little vanilla cake, but it's not. This is totally something my mom would bring to a potluck. I shit you not. <laughs> Why am I so excited about this? This is my favorite one so far. The idea of being just like a stay at home housewife made me cringe because I do really like to work and stuff. But honestly, seems kind of dope to be honest. Any stay at home moms, tell me how you like it. If it's worth it, I might work towards that because I like doing this. I like, I like experimenting with this, but I don't have a child. That probably adds in a lot of more expertise and hard work. I also just like being a badass businesswoman who's independent as and also I would like to keep Jay employed as long as I can. <laughs> okay, look at that. We have a cream cheese bologna ranch cake. And now we get to decorate it. Dude, I'm really excited. I'm excited to decorate this cake. They said like air can cheese and stuff, but we don't have that anywhere in Canada, at least that I could find. So I also have something that I had as a kid, cheese whiz, which is, oh, God damn it. I don't need a man. <laughs> oh. Call me mommy. Oh God, that smells disgusting. I just want to make this like cute. I was just going to put like a little layer of this like on top. Oh, just that fake ass cheese. I don't think this will spread. Oh, it does spread pretty well. Ooh, that's fun. Nice. Okay, that looks weird, but uh, that's okay. I just wanted to add a little flair. Kind of jiggles. <laughs> that's like me on that vibrating thing from this video. Whoa. Oh. Okay, next they wanted olives and cilantro, but that's disgusting. But I do like cucumbers and I feel like cucumbers would be good. So we're gonna cut some cucumbers. Thinly sliced as to be aesthetically pleasing. I am going to put these little cucumbers just on top and just like layer them. Ah, I love this so much. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm a freaking baker. Bitch. I'm so excited about this cake. I'm actually gonna like put them around the bottom too. I feel like that would be really cute. I'm amazed I haven't cut myself, by the way. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's stunning. Okay, we're gonna cut into it and see what it looks like. Okay, please don't wreck it, please don't wreck it, please don't wreck it. Ooh, it's gonna be difficult. There we go, we had a cucumber. Just cause I wanna see the inside. Oh my God, I need a plate. <clears throat> oh my God, look at the little piece of bologna cake. I mean, Gordon Ramsay would vomit looking at this, but it looks adorable. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I feel like this would be really good with crackers. Oh, f <sighs> damn it. I can add them with the garnish on top like this. Look at those layers, man. <laughs> this thing looks so cool. Okay, I'm excited to try this. I'm gonna grab a cracker and then we're just gonna take like a little, little slice of this, put it on the cracker, put a little cuke on there. Bon appetit. really good. I forgot how much I like bologna. I'm getting emotional over bologna. It really tastes like my childhood. Like that's all we ate was bologna sandwiches. I miss my mom. I want to call my mom. Wait, this actually tastes really good. I haven't eaten all day. I'm probably just going to eat this bologna cake, bro. This is really good. And the ranch with the cream cheese. That's a game changer, dude. The cheese whiz. I didn't really get into the cheese whiz that much, but like, hell yeah. This is going to be really obnoxiously big bite. Mm-hmm. Wife of the year. That's good. Wife of the year on a budget, bitch. 10 out of 10 party snack. Highly recommend. And what's cool is that even if you don't like bologna, you could do like turkey or like sliced turkey or ham or maybe like both or like some like spicy meat or something like a little salami or something like that. I think that could be really, really good. And it looks so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. Bologna cake. Sounded the grossest, was the best by far. Well, all right, everybody, that concludes the video. And if you liked it, please like the video. It really helps out the channel. And also subscribe if you haven't subscribed, because this is obviously the bestest YouTube channel ever. And I've given you some pretty wicked tips. Let me know what you're gonna try making down below, if any. But until I see you again, I love you and I appreciate you. And I will see you beautiful face in the next video. All right, bye. Recipes that should stay in the past to make it come back fast.